So you weren't one that when it started receding, it affected you? No, I didn't give a fuck. I cut it off. That's why it don't affect me that I got braids from the middle back. <laughs> I don't care what nobody thinks about me. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Wow. I always think about old, uh, uh, Charlemagne when you said Breakfast Club all ago. You and him, y'all lock in pretty good. Mm -hmm. I think he dope. I, I like the way he, you know, he just he say whatever. He, he guess in the building. Bring the heat, Charlemagne. What you got? Bring the heat. Relax, white boy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, early on, he was worse. He didn't got better. Oh, he's now. a troll. A credit card. Man, I would get old macaroni noodles and be like, I love you, J-Lo. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I would, I would take it back to first. No, but, but he didn't uh, got better now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, you know. <laughs> He's a he's also you know one of the guys that has the vision you know what yeah, I mean I like he has it. that like there's it. certain people in this game that that you know that's something that I picked up on and just being able to have that vision to be able to see in the future man that's a that's a skill yeah that's a God given skill to be able to look at something and say I know what I'm looking at yeah yeah and he's one of those people that's you know what I mean he's one of those people so you know just him being somebody that has always been accessible, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. to me, even when that wasn't beneficial to him to be accessible to me is something that I always appreciate. So I think that's what make the relationship so smooth because yeah. he's always been the same and I've always been the same. And that's something that counts in this game because niggas change daily. All the time. Yeah, man. you know what I mean? They what change about, daily. I'm going to ask you about that Beans cartoon. I got. I can't let you out of here without asking you about the cartoon. Oh, yeah, we're working, on, yeah, we working it on it, man. Like, I got to, uh, i show you a couple of characters, okay, man. Okay, okay. Uh, but, um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you got a pinto bean on there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, pinto bean, and I'm pinto bean. Yeah, that's yeah. my character. That's hard. But yeah, we got, you know, string bean nah. and lima bean and, that's you know hard. what I mean, fava bean and all of that. So it's just, you know, all of these are ideas. And that's the thing, like, I make sure that I stay Comedians. true to mm -hmm. my process. I don't care what nobody says about what I'm supposed to be doing. I work on my own time, you know what I mean? Because my time is mine. It's going to come in, do, in due time. I don't force nothing. I don't rush nothing. I make sure it's right for me before I do anything. Because at the end of the day, like Lo say, the day is over. So, yeah, yeah. you know, you're going to have to deal with whatever it is that comes to you. And that it, whether it be a blessing or a hindrance, it's going to be your responsibility. So for me, I try to make sure that everything is right the way I want it to be right, no matter what people say about, you know, my mm. process, you know what I'm saying? That's the reason why I don't answer. Where do you see yourself in five years? <laughs> like, I don't, I'd never answer never that know. question. Wherever God put me is where I see exactly. myself in five years. Because if you would have asked me that when I was an open mic comic at the Comedy Zone, making $25 a show, where I saw myself in five years, I wouldn't have named half of the shit that I've done already. That's hard, that's hard. So, I got a couple questions. No, nah, man, we ain't got no time limit long ago. I'm here, I'm here. I know y'all so been waiting. Much, man. Your wife is the reason I'm here. So <laughs> you, it, you can ask as many questions as you want. I ain't one of them people that's like, yeah, man, I'm on a tight schedule, man. I, ain't oh, got I know, no, no, right. I'm here, man. As long man, as y'all want to so go, much, we going to go. How old were you when your hairline started receding? <laughs> oh, ain't oh shit. Look, 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 here we go. And he laughing 20, the hardest. 22. 22. Yep, and I went bald. Immediately. I cut it off. That's why my mother All don't of understand. It. Yeah, I was bald for till the pandemic. Everybody out there who seems to have a problem with my hair. Everybody that keeps saying she go, this spot won't grow, won't you let it go? So okay, so you weren't one that when it started receding it affected you no i didn't give a fuck i cut it off that's why it don't affect me that i got braids from the middle back <laughs> i don't care what nobody thinks about me like my confidence so why is you not grew it back then because the pandemic started and i saw i put a post up because i was in my in my gym i was boxing and i had my head back because it's a routine that i do you know just because i box you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying and everybody thought i was trying to hide my hairline and then I was like, y'all got to be fucked up. So I posted a picture of me with my hairline and what it looked like. And I got the most engagement that I had ever, ever. got on anything. And I'm like, oh, people really allow public perception to shape what they think about That's themselves. Mm -hmm. so Let me use my platform to show what it looks like when you don't give a fuck about public like perception that, when it comes to you. Chico, your head look like the potatoes at Five Guys before they turn them into fries. So that's the reason why I still got it because it's like, I can. The reason why my hair like this is because I can walk around with it like this and still be the nigga that I was before I had it. I think that's so loud. See, Cause I love when people do that because People are so ashamed by all these different things that they go through. And that's why when people sit right here, the first thing I always tell them, especially females, I said, don't ever be ashamed of situations you've been in because 
God put us through things for That's a real. reason to help other people. You might not know who you're helping, and we're at a stage right now where you can touch millions of people by a situation. Somebody could be going through something that you already went That's through real. that you're hiding, and you already overcame it because oh, you're still me. sitting trust right me, here. I am a motivation. You can you should see the niggas that send me pictures <laughs> and walk up to me with they shit way worse than mine. Yes, y'all, baby, God. Wait, wait, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> and be like, she go, fuck it. I'm living my dream. I'm like, good job. You know what I mean? And that's the reason why I use the influence the way I do. Because like like I said, and it goes back to my mother again, the way she raised me. I never had the option of caring about what anybody thought. Mm -hmm. I had to do what she said. Mm -hmm. So when everybody was outside playing football and riding bikes, I was walking to the Safeway with a cart to get the groceries for the house. Mm -hmm. And I had to be okay with whatever anybody was saying about me walking down this damn being you going to the Safeway again? Y'all ain't still ain't got no food from the last time? Nope. And I had to be okay with that. So in that, it made me be comfortable with them, what my process was. You know what I mean? My mother was buying me size 13 shoes when I was in middle school and I was still cool. And you wasn't even. Fact. <laughs> I ain't have a choice. I had to, I don't know who was get. you know what? Whoever was selling my mama them big ass shoes, just like my little brother father, you was a bitch ass nigga, man. <laughs> giving my mama them long ass shoes for whatever you was giving them to her for and I had to wear them bitches. But that also was something that made me recognize, man, you can't care about what people, people think about think. you because I didn't have a choice. So I still was cool with the Bobby's World shoes on, like big head, big shoes. Mm -hmm. But that was, you know, my life. So. I never care about public perception. Like it's very, I'm very selective about the opinions I let affect me. That's I'm cool. very selective. Like you don't just get to come into my life and now you have an opinion that affects me because that's, that's that can be very detrimental to you and how you live your life. You so gotta be selective. So the hats that you wear is just to keep your head warm? The hats that I wear is because I look good in them. You like this one? It's, it's handmade, <laughs> like it's yawn. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, oh, crochet, but no, nah, I, I don't. It. I just wear hats because I like to wear hats. Like but you, wear I hats. take my hat off anytime, I, every yeah, time. Do. I don't care. I love my side braids. It's an okay. accomplishment to me. I'm living out all my dreams. I never had braids when I had regular hair. Wanda wasn't going for it. I had to get my hair cut, and I got used to it. So once the pandemic came and I saw that first hairstyle, I was like, I'm going all the way. Mm, and man. now, and that's the thing, people. That's hard. People talk shit like I can't just go in the bathroom and change what makes you feel like I should change something about myself and this is one thing that I wish we could have for social media I wish it was a window into social media so if you ever criticize somebody on the internet uh, immediately a window should open up into your life and that person should be able to criticize whatever they see you doing and I think that'll change criticism on the internet yeah we on boss talk one-on-one yeah we gonna talk